In this tutorial video, I'm going to teach you how to set up your Logitech Brio webcam to record and live stream in 4K using OBS, Open Broadcaster Studio, the best free software out there with the best webcam out there. If you haven't already bought the Logitech Brio, I mean, here's what it does. You can use it for nice, beautiful wide shots like this with the 90 degree angle lens. You can also use it as a face cam and sort of green screen cam. I own two of them and I recommend it to all my clients. Link below if you want to buy the camera. Here's the deal. Make sure that your Logitech Brio, if you're attempting to do 4K video, is plugged into a USB 3 jack on your computer. It's probably a blue jack. If it's USB 2, this isn't going to work. You'll have to go down to 1080p. If you want 4K with the Logitech Brio, you have to do a USB 3 jack, which is what I've got mine plugged into. Hopefully that fixed some troubleshooting issues out there. Let's get into the software. You should already have all of your drivers installed and updated and Logitech G Hub, which is what this program is, up on the screen. It's working. You've got a confirmed signal. If you haven't done that yet, link in the description below to the playlist where I walk you through all of that setup that can get you to this step where you're finally ready to get your recording and your streaming going in OBS. Close Logitech G Hub or any program that could be eating up your video signal and open open broadcaster software. If you can't find OBS, just Google download OBS. Boom, you'll see it right there. Your first step is to create a new profile and a new scene collection in OBS. This will allow you to start fresh and to get all of the correct settings going right out the gate. So profile new, mine is called Brio 4K. Scene collection new, mine is called Brio 4K. Before you add your camera here, you have to go down to the bottom and go to the settings tab. If your settings are not correct before you add your camera, everything's going to be jacked up and you're not actually going to be streaming and recording in 4K. It'll be something else and your quality will be significantly lower until you take these steps. So click the settings tab and here within settings, your first stop in settings is always the video tab. Get that set up first. Click video and your base canvas resolution, go ahead and you can leave that at 1920 by 1080 if you want. If you have a 4K monitor, you can go ahead and bump that up to full 4K. So that's 3840X, no space, 2160. You can copy that because we're going to paste it into other spots. All right. That will give you a 4K base canvas res resolution and you'll be outputting 4K to whatever recording or stream you're doing. Bump up the downscale filter to 36 samples, and we'll leave our frame rate at 30 today. It's a pretty good standard frame rate. Hit apply. Our next stop is going to be the output tab right here. The output tab allows us to select our record and stream settings. Your output mode should be advanced. We're going to need to get deep in here. Uncheck Enforce Streaming Encoder Settings. If that's checked, it will not allow you to output in 4K most of the time. Next, for your encoder, because this is going to be a super heavy load on your computer, if you have an NVIDIA encoder, select an NVIDIA encoder for streaming and recording. 4K video requires a lot of system resources. For your bitrate, you're going to want to go pretty high with your bitrate for streaming. Look up the streaming bit rates per platform, but generally speaking for 4K streams, you're going to want at least 20,000 bit rate, upwards of 50. It depends on the platform. It's going to eat up so much bandwidth. It's going to be crazy. Your keyframe interval, I generally go with two. You can do zero for auto. It depends on the platform you're streaming to. And for your preset, since you're going 4K video, baby, just go max quality. You're going all the way, right? You're a hardcore enthusiast if you're going 4K streaming. Hit apply, but do not hit OK. Next, you're going to go to the recording tab. Here, you're going to need to manually select 4K recording. You're going to need to select your recording format. I recommend MP4. And you need to select a location that's got a ton of storage. So if you have a storage drive like me, like a D drive, select a folder somewhere here on your storage drive because these files are going to be giant. Gigantic. Select folder, 
boom, you know where the files are going to go. For your encoder, I recommend having a GPU encoder, such as the NVIDIA encoder, running your recording as well, because it's going to take up a ton of system resources to record in 4K. Once you do that, these options are going to pop up below. Keep the rate control at CBR, consistent bitrate. Your bitrate, you need to bump this up. We're talking 40,000, 50,000, something super, super high if you want to maximize your quality, okay? It needs to be tens of thousands. Look up the bitrate based on your frame rate for your project, and you need to balance, you know, is this gameplay for games? Is this just me on camera? That's going to change what your bitrate should be, but you should be looking at 40,000 to 60,000 plus for your bitrate. That's going to be giant file sizes. Be ready for giant file sizes. Keyframe interval, I like two. You can also choose zero. And for the preset, do max quality since you're going for high fidelity video. Hit apply, but not okay. Always bump up your audio to 320. Since you guys are going for super high quality, your 4K video enthusiasts, 320 will quite literally more than double the quality of your audio and the amount of data you're sending through your audio. Might as well juice up that audio quality while you're bumping up the video as well. Great. We will only touch on this briefly, but your stream, you'll need to, of course, select the streaming platform you're streaming to. I'm not going to review all 10 trillion streaming platforms and how to add them, but just generally speaking, you will be able to a login to most streaming platforms or use a custom RTMP separate videos on that step. Okay. But add your streaming platform, hit apply. Then now you're allowed to hit. Okay, great. Now we're at the step where you can add your Brio finally to your canvas. You understand why we didn't add it yet, right? We didn't add it because if you added it here when it was in the other size, then your canvas would have essentially been this big, if you will, but your camera would have been this big. And so you wouldn't have had the right sizing, okay? So set up your sizing first, then add your camera. I'm gonna disappear to show you how to do it. Down here under sources, right here at the bottom, hit that plus button down there. Plus video capture device. I would call it something 4K, most likely. Brio 4K. As you can see when this pop up, pops up, that's not 4K right there. That's not widescreen. That is just a 4x3 video. That's the default it gives you. So you're going to need to hit device default. You're going to need to select custom. Then in the resolution menu, it will give you 4K as an option. Don't go with the very, very top option. It doesn't work very well in my experience. Go with 3840 by 2160. 3840 by 2160, that is the most reliable 4K video this camera will give you. Oh my, there I am in gorgeous 4K video. Leave your FPS at to match the output FPS. That's generally what you wanna do. If you feel that your video is out of sync or rather it's uh, too big or too small, you screwed up one of the other settings, but you can easily fix it by right clicking the middle of the pane going to transform and fit to screen, and it'll fit your video. Now, as you can see, I'm gonna turn my camera back on. The video you see here on the screen is way out of sync with the audio that I'm recording right now. And that's because, let me tell you how that's because. Video requires a lot more data than audio. And I'm leaving myself up on the screen as an example. Pushing 4K video requires a lot of processing and a lot of data to be pushed through the pipes on your computer. So it takes longer for that to happen. Audio, on the other hand, is much faster because it's way less data. So what we're gonna need to do is slow down the audio so that it's as slow as the video so that they're synced up. You notice how me talking with you right here, I'm synced up, but me on the other computer not yet synced, it's way off. Here's how you fix that issue. You need to know that to do 4K video, otherwise it's gonna be all jacked. Okay, so let's assume that you guys are going to add an external microphone. Just go ahead and mute your Brio 4K mic that's built in. And go ahead and just hide it. Then we're going to add a new source. I'll disappear so you can see it. We're gonna add a new source, which is whatever your microphone is by hitting the plus button down here. Plus, audio input capture. 
I'm going to call mine boom mic because that's the type of mic I have on this computer. Select your device. Mine's a focus, right? Solo, whatever yours is called, just pick it, hit OK. As you can see, there's my mic. You can see levels, but those are going to be way out of sync with each other. OK, so here's how you sync up your audio with your video when your video is so delayed because the video file is so big. Click the cog right here next to boom mic or whatever the audio is called for you and go to advanced audio properties. Boom mic is what mine is called. It's a mono mic, so let's hit the mono button and it will duplicate and make it stereo as you can see here. And the sync offset, generally speaking, that you need to do for 4K video is about 225 milliseconds to anywhere up to 300 milliseconds, somewhere in that range. You need to slow down essentially your audio by about a quarter of a second to about a third of a second to have your audio match your video. Cool? Once you have put that in there, hit close, and then you're going to click the start recording and or start streaming buttons down here, and you're going to do tests. And you're going to go look at that recording, you're going to play it back, and you're going to see, is my, are my lips in sync with the audio you're hearing. And you need to get that spot on. Otherwise, your audiences will be incredibly annoyed by all of your video content. That's it. That's how you do it. That is how you set up 4K video with the Logitech Brio. Once again, description below if you want to buy the camera. I get credit for that. It helps support the channel financially if you buy the camera. It's not a sponsored video. It's an affiliate link. Also, if you want to check out my other Logitech Brio tutorials, link in the description below. I'm going through everything from how to record in 1080p, how to set up a green screen, how to do your lighting properly, how to do the drivers, the software, everything. I've been using this camera for years for thousands of pieces of content. I just need to teach you guys how to use this thing because this is one of the most popular webcams on planet Earth now. Thank you for watching. Enjoy creating content in super high quality 4K, and I'll see you in the next one.